everybody, Jess here with Key Tarot. I'm gonna do a real quick general reading, not zodiac sign specific. Let's say a quick blessing and we will find out who it's for, all right? Holy Spirit, thank you so much for being with us here today and in every breath that we take. We ask that these messages be received by those who are meant to hear them, amen. All righty, let's find out what's going on out there. I get the world card that's coming out. This, um, this it means so you're coming to an end. Something's coming to an end. It's, it's time for something to come to an end. I don't know what that is for you. The world is the final card in the deck of Tarot, in a major arcana deck of Tarot, right? It's the last card there is on this jewel, this journey that the fool decides to take, right? The fool is the main character in a deck of Tarot. The fool is the number zero card. The world is number 22, 21, sorry. Um, but yeah, this, this is closing out old chapters, old cycles of your life, things that you had invested in for a long, Long time things that you thought were going to be for forever and now something's changed I have the seven of cups now you're not sure what's gonna happen um, there's someone here who's kind of trying to trust in the um, the guidance of a higher power because they don't know where they're supposed to go they don't know where to turn right now this is someone who's feeling a little bit overwhelmed by all of the options that they have set out in front of them and they wanna make sure they're not making the wrong choices. Um, this is someone who is taking stock of everything. I've got the Ace of Wands in the reverse. There's some fearfulness here of what the next chapter of their life is about to hold, what the next phase of their life is going to hold. Um, this is someone who's taking stock of all the choices that they've made over the last few years and deciding what it is that they wanna do with their future. And they're very acutely aware of not wanting to make the same, I don't wanna say mistakes, but not they don't want to repeat the same cycles all right and there's kind of this fearful energy here and i'm not sure why that is hold on i got one that's flipped here uh okay I have the judgment in reverse and I have the three of cups on its side. There was someone here who waited a very long time for some kind of reconciliation to take place. There was someone here who was kind of hoping that things would work out but with the judgment card in the reverse this can be an energy of divorce this can be an energy of like um legal matters um documentation something like that it's having to let something go it can be broken contracts in some way um, and there was someone here who was really hoping for a change in the future but now it's not i, I mean i don't know hold on let me look 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 hold on King of Pentacles. This is someone who says, I know what I need to do now. This is Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy here. Um, and this is someone who says, I'm ready. I'm ready to take the next step in my life to kind of level up to who I, it, is, it is that I want to be, what it is I want to see for myself. This person, this King of Pentacles energy is someone who wants to create a stable life for themselves, maybe for their family, um, maybe for their community. Who knows? This person could maybe want to start a business. Um, this person sees clearly now where the instabilities in their life have come from and they want to make a change. Uh, and they see that the change is coming, coming, it's happening. Okay, perfect. Put that one aside. I got the five of cups in the reverse and I have the four of wands on its side. Um, this could definitely be relating to a marriage situation. This can definitely be related to, um, this, this four of wands is that twin flame 1111, divinely guided soulmate card. Um, and with this five of cups in the reverse, this is someone who says, you know, I just can't keep doing the same things over and over again. I can't keep um, trying the same things and expecting them to be different. I can't keep giving and giving and giving to something that I'm never getting anything out of in return. I'm going to use this um, artist's inner vision to row to clarify. I've got the tower on the bottom and I've got the five of wands on the other side. The tower can be um, an energy of something that's like a crisis or something that comes out of nowhere that really changes the course of your life. Um, I don't know if this is something you've already been through or in the past, like would have been in the last maybe three or four years, or this could be something that's happening right now. This five of wands energy over here is someone who's like making their pros and cons list. They're trying to work it out in their head as to what it is that they want to do next. Should I stay? Should I go? Yes or no? In or out? 
out um, what is what's the best choice for me and this is someone who I said again I will say is acutely aware of not wanting to make the same choices again I sense like a real heaviness here. Um, the seven of wands in the reverse. This is someone who no longer feels like they're in a, a position of superiority. This is someone who wants to give up the fight. This is someone who says, you win, I surrender. I have the two of pentacles. The most important thing to me is balance. Okay, hold on. I got to organize this. Whoever, <laughs> hold on. I like to be able to see. A little better. All right. That Seven of Cups, man, that just goes right in the center, right? The Seven of Cups, let's just go ahead and talk about it again for a second. This is someone who wants to make sure they're not operating from illusions or delusions about the future. Because maybe you were feeling like you were kind of led on by something in the past. Maybe you felt like you'd been delusional about something. Um, and now this person, whoever I'm reading for, says that's not what I want for my future. I want stability in my life. Someone was hoping for a reconciliation here. It's not happening. It could have been with this divinely guided soulmate here. You may have had a fallout with someone. This may be ending a marriage, something like that. This two of pentacles energy is someone who wants to bring balance into their life. Yes. Okay. And I've got the two of swords here. So now we're at a crossroads. Okay. Yeah. We figured that. This is no new information. You're like, tell me something I don't already know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, they're your cards, right? So it's two of swords. Um, this is somebody being at a mental crossroads. Which way do I go now? And I've got the Seven of Cups right on top of the Seven of Cups. I was just thinking to myself, I think I need to grab another deck. And I don't usually use three decks in the daily, but I have a feeling we may have some repeats that need to come out. So um, whenever I have repeat cards, this tells me this is a really important energy for whoever I'm reading for. And it also tells me you have a very important energy in your life because you know how you're feeling about something. And so I can tell... Uh, that you're very strong. You have a strong presence in your life, whoever you are. You can make major changes in your life rapidly. Now, this Seven of Cups, again, this is important for whatever reason. This is someone who is all of a sudden asking for help. This is someone who's surrendering. Um, 777, the number 777 to me, is an energy of... Um, surrender. It's an energy of I give up. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Someone else help. Help, help, help. I admit that I don't know the right choice and therefore I'm looking up to obtain guidance. Okay, real quick like... And look at this, on the bottom of the deck here, we've got the Seven of Pentacles here. This is someone who waited a long time to know what the right choice was to be to do in this situation. They waited to see if this was ever gonna get better, if it was ever going to um, become profitable at all. And it feels like you've made the determination that it's simply not worth it to sit in this space any longer. And now you're faced with this decision of, should I? where do I go next? Where, where do I, where is the next place? Where's my next landing spot? I have the Five of Pentacles here with the Magician on top of that. This Five of Pentacles can be someone who's um, standing to lose quite a bit of money by moving on from whatever this situation is. Um, maybe that's what kept you there as long as, as you stayed, who knows. Um, I have this Magician card that comes out on top of that. That's the energy of Ophiuchus for me as a reader. Um, for a lot of readers, it's also the card of Aries. This is someone who recognizes that a new day is dawning um, and it comes, the sun's gonna come up, the sun's gonna go down. It's all gonna be happening no matter what. And so we might as well make our lives look the way that we want them to look, feel the way that we need them to feel. And this person, whoever I'm reading for with this um, Two of Pentacles here, is it's all about the balance for you. You gotta find balance, you gotta find peace, whatever that is. So I was saying, I was feeling very, like a real heaviness in my heart for whoever I'm reading for here. You may have been through a lot recently. You may be having to walk away from some very significant contracts in your life in order to find this stability that this King of Pentacles sort of demands here. And while you were really hoping for the best, you were hoping that things would improve, hoping that they would get better, there's somebody here who says, I give up, I'm licked, I surrender. And that's excellent. <laughs> And I have the Seven of Wands again, along with this Hierophant card. This is someone who wants something they can commit to. They want something that won't be a broken contract any longer. With this Seven of Wands comes out again here. This is someone who wants to feel like, oh, I see what it is. This, by surrendering, 
it's like all of a sudden you win. By letting go, all of a sudden you win. What do you win? You win that balance. You win that, that knowledge that you are finally making choices that make sense for you. And you win the self-satisfaction of knowing that you're just being very authentic to yourself and to your higher self. And that right there, I'm pretty sure that's the goal, kids. Yeah. And so whatever that this is that you're looking for, whatever this is that you want, the stability that you want, because you have this magician card here, this energy tells me you can do anything you want to do with your life. And I think that you're finally starting to become more and more aware of that as the days go on, as you have sat in this space for so long with this discomfort with this sadness with whatever this was that has made you want to move away from this space yeah fives i've got the five of pentacles and the five of cups here fives indicate chaos and conflict that bring about that necessary change like that card the tower card right um where i was saying this is course redirection for you you're somebody who's finally come to terms with that and now all of a sudden with this two of swords energy it, it's not going to be so dark and scary i just saw 11 11 on the clock this is an awakening time for you this is a time of change there's it's not always going to be this scary and dark once you get over this threshold of whatever this transition is that you're making i also see that the hierophants the um number five as well um this is once you get over this last little hurdle it's kind of like clear skies so good job you you've made some major decisions you've made some major changes and they weren't easy to make but you did it anyway you're right you made the right choice all right i will see you guys tomorrow have a great day